Lesson two in our matter unit deals with the concept of density. We talked about how all matter has mass. It's made up of atoms and molecules. We talked about how all matter has volume. It takes up a certain amount of space. And density is a property that basically gives us a relationship between mass and volume. It tells us the amount of matter per unit of space that it takes up. For instance, an object with low density, if we pick up a piece of it, it's going to feel fairly light. Whereas an object with a higher density, it's got more matter packed into that certain space, so it's going to feel heavier by comparison. For instance, if we have a cotton ball as opposed to a steel ball, they could be about the same size. But obviously, iron or steel is going to be much heavier, much more dense than the cotton would. Another example, I've got a cube here made out of polypropylene, just very lightweight plastic, or a piece of brass, which is pretty, pretty dense metal. They're the same size, they're the sh same shape, but if we compared them by weight, the polypropylene is much lighter, the brass is much heavier, meaning it has a greater density. It's more matter actually packed into that small cube. So that's this idea of density, the relationship between the amount of mass and a certain amount of space. We can actually calculate an object's density if we know its mass and we know its volume. And we measure density in the unit grams per cubic centimeter. That means in every cubic centimeter of this object or of this substance, what's the mass in grams? And to calculate density, basically all we have to do is divide the object's mass by the object's volume. For instance, a golf ball has a mass of approximately 45 grams, and it's got a volume of about 40 cubic centimeters. So we can divide 45 by 40. That tells us the density of the golf ball is 1.13 grams per cubic centimeter. Now water, on the other hand, which is something that we kind of use as a standard for density measurement, it has a density of one gram per cubic centimeter. That means that one cubic centimeter of water would have a mass of one gram. And what that means to us is that anything with a greater density, something with a density greater than one gram per cubic centimeter, would be more dense than water, and it would sink, like the golf ball. Something with less density than water, anything less than one gram per cubic centimeter, would float because it's less dense, so it would rise up to the top. This idea of being able to float on water or float in any particular liquid we refer to as buoyancy. And that's a property that is very important for something like a boat or something that we would want to stay on the surface of the water. So this is just kind of this idea of density, again, just comparing the amount of matter in a particular amount of space for a particular substance.